welcome back friends welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's biology and in this video lecture we are talking about uh, the cell mediated immune response and how it cross talk with humoral immune response so we'll see these two types of immune response and how they interacting with themselves to finally activate the immune defense at the very fast uh, process and very fast way for that the simplest thing this is going to be an overview of how our body prepares ourselves when an antigen or a pathogen inside invades inside our body it begins with an antigen now that antigen can have different modes of entry antigen could be a part of the pathogen or it could be a whole pathogen or it could be a part of the pathogen that is present inside one of our normal body cell now it depends on which format the pathogen is entering, which format the antigen is present. Now it depends on that we have different sort of responses. Now if the antigen is a whole pathogen, in that case what happens? It gets engulfed, so let me write it here, antigen is engulfed by macrophage. Once macrophage engulf that antigen, it becomes antigen presenting cell it, it indulges the bacteria now it will break them down in small fragments so now it will fragmentize the bacteria and that fragment will be acting as an antigen now this antigen presenting cell macrophage will showcase that antigen outside to rest of the immune system cells to tell them that there is a pathogen invading our body that is the job so once it is showcasing it through the antigen presenting purpose, it activates the helper T cell. Once the helper T cell gets activated, these cells further activate either B cell, it can also activate cytotoxic T cell. Okay, It can activate both the type of cells. Now this is the direct, if the pathogen enters as a whole as a pathogen. Now if there is an antigen present, so we call it as a free antigen. So if there is a free antigen, that is a portion of bacterial uh, body, like portion of a flagella, portion of the cell membrane or cell wall of bacteria, or some protein portion of bacterial body, that will be acting as a free antigen. And that free antigen is going to directly activate B cell. Okay. Once the B cell gets activated by either helper T cell or the free antigen, this B cell can turn itself into a plasma cell. And plasma cell will start producing antibodies. And those antibodies will be very specific against that antigen. It will attach with antigen and are further target that antigen to be killed by complement system or it will target the antigen to be killed by the macrophages or any other phagocytic cells. On the other hand, if the antigen we are talking about, if it is a cell, if, if the antigen is inside one of our body cell, inside normal cell, so if antigen is inside our normal cell, the normal cells start to change some sort of behavior. It will modify the type of phospholipids that are present in the surface. It will modify and rearrange all its components and it will signal from outside. When the signal is received by the cells, the signal can be received directly by cytotoxic T cell and they get activated. Once the cytotoxic T cell gets activated, it will kill the infected cell okay so you see the antigen and the mode how antigen is infecting if a complete pathogen enters macrophage in the that break them down show them to others it activates helper T cells helper T cells activates B cell it will also activate cytotoxic T cell if cytotoxic T cell is activated normal cells which are infected will be killed if that helper T cell activates B cells, B cell will produce antibodies because it will turn itself into plasma cells, produce antibodies, antibodies will go against those pathogens and kill them with complement activation and sometimes with the help of other phagocytic cells. Now let's assume that this antigen attacks here for the first time, first attack. 
So if antigen attacks for the first time, this whole process will go. And after a certain time, whenever they produce helper T cells, they produce this B cells, they want to store this type of cells for the future events. Why? Because let's say there is a new invader there. You don't know about that invader. Now as it enters itself, you know its properties, it, you know how it sprays, you know what kind of toxins it releases. So our immune system knows all these informations while fighting against that pathogen. And that is the important knowledge to know our enemy. In any kind of fight, you need to know your enemy very well. If you don't know your enemy and what kind of damage your enemy could, could done, in that case you cannot fight. So in this case, once you know that enemy, that these are the properties of our enemy and that these are the type of damages our enemy ca is capable to do, once you know that, we start to preserve that knowledge. And for preserving that knowledge, we have this memory cells coming in. So from those helper T cell, we convert this helper T cell into a memory helper T cell or convert this B cell into a memory B cell. These memory cells are actually they present in our, in our immune system for a long time, a long period of time. So that in near future, if this antigen affects again, the same antigen, if it take entries again, they are going to protect us directly from with the help of these B cells and T cells. So they don't need to again go through this whole process again. They just have this memory T cells, find them out, memory B cells, find them out, make a replica of all those cells, clone of all those cells, and they start producing that antibody from the start point. So the adaptive immune response or antibody mediated immune response will be very, 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 very strong. Remember, if you look at this whole scenario, keeping this antigen in the middle, you see this part of the side is antibody mediated immune response. This part of the size is antigen media uh, sorry it, it is part of the side is cell mediated immune response and we know this antibody mediated response and cell mediated response we have something common in the middle and that is how a macrophage or which is called an antigen presenting cell is cross talking with T cell to finally signal both type of directions either antibody mediated or humoral or the cell mediated response to be activated that is very very important the crosstalk between macrophage and t helper cell at the very beginning to finally convey the message to both humoral med immunity and cell mediated immunity and once they spread this knowledge to both type of immune immunity all together then they can work together and can give us the boost of immunity we require okay so remember that very carefully now let's assume once antigen first invade here we have all these things developed we have memory cells developed now let's say this antigen again take entry after a very few time let's say after one or two days or let's say after two weeks the same antigen in infects or let's say after three months the same antigen infects so antigen take entry and this is the second time antigen is invading once this antigen take entry the second time this antigen will further activate this memory helper cells and they will also activate these cytotoxic T cells and those memory B cells will also become activated due to the second antigenic invasion because then they will know that this is the same antigen because they have this stereotype of the antigen in their memory cells listed there. So they can find out yes I know this guy he invaded us before and I know how to fight against that because I did it earlier. They will start producing the antibodies directly. They will start producing the cytotoxic T cells which will go and kill. So ultimately with the help of both cytotoxic T cell and also with the help of this plasma cells developing antibody, they will fight against those antigen for the second time. But this time the response will be much faster. It will be faster response because they have all those things in their memory cells. So they don't need anything to start from the scratch. So remember, this is how the humoral response is connected to the cell mediated response. I must write them from the beginning. This is the humoral response or antibody mediated response. This is the cyto, this is the cell mediated response. 
that are connected with the help of the simple processing and interaction of macrophage with the helper T cell. Okay? And in this case actually they use two things interleukin 12 and interferon. So with the help of this interferon interleukin 12 there is a specific axis that is present there in the middle that ultimately signals both cytotoxic mode that is cellular mode and humoral mode. Both of them together now work and fight against the infection and make our body ready to fight against it again in the near future. So that in a sense is the cell mediated and humoral immunity and how they cross talk. I hope you have an idea about all these things and how it's working. If an antigen invades or if a pathogen invades in our body, how our body reacts against it. Once you know that, it will be much easier to go and look at the details of different processes of our body's immune system. So hopefully we will go through this for the next video series also because we are going to make some detailed video about the immune system. So hope you like this video. If you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and stay tuned to the future video about the immunology. Thank you.